What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Caprizi with another video. Today guys we are at the 75 shop picking up La Burberry because it's time to take this to the interior shop to get the new seat covers and the new carpet. Now still I still haven't opened the box for the carpet so I'm a little nervous because you guys know what happened with the, the last carpet we ordered. It was a little bit darker so we ended up ordering a whole new carpet and I'm a little nervous because it might not match again. I don't know, it's just kind of hard. Plus, I haven't seen the seat covers either, so mm. hopefully, at least maybe the seat covers will kind of go along with the carpet. Maybe they still, they got like the same toned gray or whatnot, but yeah, it's kind of kind of hard, you know, when you're trying to piece something together and stuff, so. I don't know, we're gonna see once we get to uh, restyling concepts, so. But yeah, guys, we are here uh, at the show. About to take this bad boy out, and it's dirty. Mm hmm. Pretty filth. I still gotta get the seal plates, so I'm probably gonna have to get those tomorrow. Yeah, we're missing those seal plates. Um. Yeah. Well, let's get going, guys. I want to go see this uh, stuff we got. Curious to see. I also wanted to apologize for the video yesterday, guys. So I started using my new camera, which the quality is amazing. I love that thing. Um, but I got to practice a little bit more on it because the camera came with like an external uh, mic. So I thought that like the external mic was for like somebody else to use it. And, you know, it was going to re record from both things. But I guess not. It was just recording on the mic. And Ace had the mic. I didn't. So that's why it kind of sucked. You can only hear Ace but not me. So I'm going to have to figure that out. So that's the reason I'm using. I'm not using it right now. Because I didn't want to mess it up. But we're going to get to uh, practice a little bit more and use it. And once again I apologize. I know you guys can't hear me. But I'm going to be showing you guys Rochelle again once we get back to the other shop. So we can take it out. So let's go. All right, guys, we made it out here to Restyling Concepts. Dropping off La Burberry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Time to get to work on this bad boy. But we got the seat covers in already. Well, not in. We just kind of lay them here to check, uh, like, the color. Get an idea how it's going to look. So I went with the middle perf blue. And then we went with like a blue stitching. It's kind of hard to see out here because um, you can see more in the daylight, like outside. Let's see if I can see it. But we went with like a blue stitch, kind of light blue. I don't know why it looks light blue, but it was supposed to be kind of like the same color blue. But this is an idea how the seat's going to be looking, guys. So we went with just the center blue perf, and we just kept the original outside gray. We didn't want to go too crazy. Because at first I was going to do the whole seat this color blue. But then I didn't know how they were going to play. Because the truck is literally all gray everywhere. Then like the seat got all these plastics. And I just didn't know. I kind of wanted to do it. I had a vision about seeing the whole seat blue. But then I was like, I don't know how that going to look. So just to try to play it safe guys. We just left them OG gray with just the center perf. And in the blue color. I think this blue kind of, look at it. It goes perfect with the. Trying to catch a glare, but look, that blue was very perfect with this blue. It's crazy. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna be getting the four seats. Well, one, two, and the bench in the back reupholstered. And we also got the blue insert they're gonna be going on the door. So, we also got that. We gotta get new seal plates, all four of them. Still looking for those, haven't found some. I'm just gonna probably go to uh, uh, the junkyard, or I don't know if I can. I, I was trying to look for some brand new, but I can't find that. So, Hey, I'm still looking for those, but we are getting there, gang. So, what y'all think about the seats? Though, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all like it? Y'all don't like them? Uh, I think it's gonna look pretty nice, man. It's it's gonna look nice. Like right now, it's kind of hard to see, but once we put that brand new carpet and all the seats and the door panels matching, it's gonna look pretty nice. It's gonna play nice. So, let me go show you the piece that we got for here. And then I'm going to have them redo like whatever needs to be redone. So go check inside here. We got the carpet already inside here. So 
here's the extra seats and then trying to find out where's the this the headrest I don't know where that blue is uh, oh it's right here trying to find the strip yeah where's the door panel I was just uh, trying to show them the door panels real quick you know these are the headrests all right there nice so we're gonna be installing these on the doors guys to kind of have it all uniform and stuff it's kind of crazy how the blue just be looking different like the shades <laughs> it's a preparation. yeah right yeah guys so we got the inserts we got the seats right here we got the carpet which my dog starts chewing at it luckily i caught it because then we wouldn't have been with no carpet guys but we got the carpet here ready stand it getting it ready and I think we score, gang. Look at the color. Perfect. Not too dark, not too light. Just perfect. Very close to what it came from original. But when I ordered this, they said that this was like, they had three options of original replacements, and this is one of them. So that's what we went with. And it looks great. So this is what we're going to be doing. Because the one I had ordered originally, it was, it, got, it was on back order for like a whole month. So now they had this one in stock. And I just gamble it and yep, I think we score. And then this time we ordered the back one. The first time we didn't have the back section because I didn't know how dirty that thing was until I actually seen it last time we were here. But I'm glad that we actually added the back piece because now it's gonna flow all nice and clean. So it's gonna like the whole inside is pretty much redone. So yeah. What we got going on here. How long do you think it's going to take? About a week? Two weeks? Uh, to get it all done? Yeah, estimated. Yeah, yeah right. a week. Week. Yeah, no rush. Hopefully a little less. Hopefully a little less, right? <laughs> but yeah, guys. So, yeah, what y'all think? This carpet is way better, right? It's lighter. Like, almost the same color as what, it what came originally. So, yeah. Glad we got it out the way. Because I was waiting for that for a while. These are the headrests. I think this is the center console. Oh no, this is for the back armrest seat. Yeah. The, the center console doesn't get wrapped, it's plastic. And it's cool about these that uh they got a let me show you uh, this one got it. No, nope. let me show you this one over here. So they originally come with like a net right here as y'all can see this things always get loose because people put stuff in it and it just kind of stretches it and never goes back so the new ones actually have a pocket look at that that's nice and neat so instead of having uh, this saggy net the new ones just come with uh, a pocket so yeah guys look into uh, cat skins they uh they do a lot of cars these are like original replacements this is how it's right there cat skins um it was just upside down but go check them out they might have some nice replacements for your uh, cars but yeah guys i'm excited to see this so yeah guys get in the comments let me know what y'all think of the new seat covers and carpet that we're gonna be because look at this carpet she's dirty 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 definitely don't need this floor mat all this gonna be garbage cleaned up i hope ace is ready for this one this is this one ace is gonna have fun with it i already know because this thing is so filled we got things everywhere mm -hmm. but yeah guys we're gonna check back in a week or so whenever they say we're not in no rush i think it's filled I gotta wash it too we got here Cadillac El Dorado? I wonder if they did the top on this. Maybe at one point. Or the seats. Is this a convertible? No, this ain't no convertible. Cadillac El Dorado. They actually do make these in convertibles. It's pretty nice, two tone. Probably a personal car. I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks like a suitcase. Like it's got like the belts thing right here. 
Got them on both sides. It's funny, right? Cadillac. This one's a touring. Oh, suspension. Probably got some kind of air suspension, maybe. Who knows? All right, guys. I'm gonna get going. Check back with you in a week. Look who decided to come to work with us, guys. Fendi. What's up, boy? Check out the jacket he got, though. <laughs> Had to go take him to get one of his vaccines and stuff. So, I had to come to work with. Come on. Get down. You want to say hi to the camera? You want to say hi to the camera, Fendi? Yeah, he got big already, huh? Y'all remember when I got him, he was a puppy, him and his brother? Big baby. <laughs> Go there. Get some water. Go. Come on. Wants to be playing. Go there. Go. <laughs> all right, all right. He just wants to be, uh... Scratch. Okay, okay. Okay, bye. Go, Finn. Go. Alright, guys. Look what we got here. Rochelle. So, yeah, guys. I had the incident yesterday with the mic and stuff that y'all couldn't hear me. And, yeah, you guys know I got the new camera, so I didn't know. I, I thought that, you know, having the extra mic, which let me show you. I got it over here, actually. So this is like the whole package it came with. So um, this right here is the mic. So I, uh, I just thought that this was like for the mic for someone else to use. So I had given uh, Ace this to put on because I know he'd be talking low. So I told him, hey, put this on. But I didn't know like it was gonna cancel mine. So that's what happened, gang, my bad. But I actually like this uh, camera. The quality is nice, look at this. I think the, the quality of this camera is pretty amazing. I like uh, how it captures everything. It looks very nice and crispy, clear. So, y'all seen it yesterday at Ace. He did the paint correction on it and it came out pretty nice. Uh, he has said that he had wet sand the trunk and the hood. That those were the parts that were more like they were not coming out as good as the body panels so he did a good job big 28s we also added those little chrome um, door ding stoppers that's what people put on so like when you open the door you don't put a ding on another car and stuff so it's like a protector I mean, if you don't like it, you can take it off. It just slits on, but... Yeah, guys, this is Rochelle, and now listed on the market. So, this is going to be a 1980 Chevy Caprice Landau. First of the box Chevy. So, this one being an 80, the front clip has been changed to a Euro front end. So the front has been changed to a Euro and the rear has been changed to a Euro. So it's got the new clips front and back. We got a triple mesh Tierra grill. You guys see we got three lines. So this is the triple mesh Tierra grill. 
We got the full impact strip on the bumper. We got the bumper guards. We got a Forgiato plate. It's got that Landau trim and it's complete. You guys know we gotta have them tips, so it does got them tips, guys. Got the tips. It's got 28 inch Forgiatos with the floating caps. I believe, does it? Uh, yeah, we got coilovers. Hold on, guys, this dog wants to come by me. No, but I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to show y'all the coolovers, but can't really catch it on the camera. Ugh. Let me see if you can see them. It's kind of dark. Maybe on the other side again. Hold on. A little complicated, but let's see if you can see it on this side. Fendi, my bad guys. Well, it's got coilovers in the front and it's got coilovers in the rear. I'll show you guys on the back right here, right there. So it's got coilovers in the back. You can actually see them through here as well. Right there. Floating cap. Nice stands. Stands on this is nice. It's got a nice stands in the back. The back doesn't have an impact strip on the bumper, but it's not missing no bumper fillers or nothing. It's got everything. It's got a uh, the lock key right here. Doesn't got the Caprice emblem or the Chevrolet Caprice classic stuff, but. You can catch those online. They sell new emblems for that. But it's got uh, all the rockers, got all the wheel wheels. It's got the important one, the Landau. Gotta have the Landau. So, yep. And these ones are not as, they're not that bad. Usually this window trim is pretty bad. This one's nice. The top, I believe it's been done at one point because it has a sunroof. So they would have to cut the roof put the sunroof just have to mark it and it is a big boy look how big this sunroof is guys i think it's pretty big not sure of the size but top is in good shape it's just a nice car here we got the inside here's the jams like the doors have been coated with something at the bottom at the driver's side there's going to be a power option car so we got the power locks and we got the power windows here is the jams rockers check it out gang here's the inside so this is how the seats have been redone got like two type of materials we got vinyl we got lower or whatever this is called you can see exactly what it is we got the matching for giada steering wheel we got a Dakota Digital Dash, which right there lights up red. It's pretty nice. And we got a Pioneer radio right here. We got a custom console, which comes with an iPad, guys. I just forgot the iPad uh, because when I got the car, the iPad did not work. And I got it to charge, and it works. So it does come with an iPad. We got custom kick panels there and over there on both sides we got the sunroof right there we got some LED lights on the top and on the bottom here's the back seat and then we got a custom rear deck kind of hard to see we also got a custom uh, third brake light. Let me see if I can show you guys over here. You can see the rest strip. It's got a custom third brake light right there. Let's go 
go on to the passenger side. Here is the jam for the passenger side, again with that black coating, I'm not sure what that is. Power locks, power windows, rockers, jams, both interior. The dash is nice, no cracks in the dash. Here you can see the kick panel more. So it's got a speaker there. Sounds pretty good actually for what it got. Uh, let me pop the, let me pop the trunk so you can see the music and then pop the engine, the hood, so you can see the engine. Take the keys off because it's beeping already. All right. Don't got like a uh, crazy music, but it's got 215 guys. And for what it got, it sounds pretty, pretty good guys. So it's got two audio pipe, 15 inch subwoofers, porter box, and a Q-bomb box. And we got two amps, crossover. So well, that's what's in the trunk, 215s guys. Sounds pretty good. Let me go uh, show you guys under the hood. Here we have a stock V8 guys. The heater works great. I can't tell you about the AC because it's winter right now, but it does got a compressor right here. It's got everything, it's pretty much all, like it's got all the pollution pumps, all the pollution stuff. Cruise control, all that stuff guys. Here's the engine. I mean the engine bay don't look, it looks clean. Don't look all rusty. Runs good. Runs good, so yep, VA guys. Shows you guys right here. V8, 4.4 liter, small V8. All right, there you have it, gang. Rochelle is now on the market for anybody that's interested. Get on uh get in the comment section let me know what y'all think of Rochelle. About to uh take some pictures and put it up on the market. Um asking price for this is gonna be thirty thousand or best. Gotta be something close. I mean the car's worth it, it's got nice paint job, super clean landau. You can't find a landau in this condition, it's pretty hard and rare. You guys already know that. Complete landau trim and we got the tips. It's all there, sunroof, 28 inch Forgiatos, floating caps, matching steering wheel. We got the Dakota Digital Dash, we got custom sounds, we got Tierra grill. You can add it, add the mat in. We got coilover suspension. So, not a bad car guys. So, if anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, fast, faster response will be on Instagram, Mr. 75 Caprice. And for those who don't got Instagram, message me through here on YouTube and we'll figure out how to get in contact with each other. But Rochelle is ready. Ready for 2024, guys. So we're looking for a nice little cruiser. It's right here. And it also got LEDs in the front, guys. Let me actually turn them on so y'all can see. Show 
LED headlights. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, thanks for watching.